Hello friends, welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So the weather has turned chilly once again. Autumn is thinking about actually showing up. Uh, kind of really goes back and forth here in northern Alabama. Um, but it just felt like the perfect day for a chili. And the chili that I'm going to make is called white chicken chili. It's a recipe that's been on my website for several years. And it's actually been a little bit since I've made it. And so I thought that would be perfect to bring you into the kitchen today and we'll make this recipe together. All right, friends. So I have a pound or so of chicken breasts here. I've got a medium sized onion and a jalapeno pepper. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dice up my onion and then I'm going to cut the chicken into about three quarter of an inch or so sized pieces. Just dice it up. So now I'm making this recipe with chicken breasts, but if you happen to have some leftover Thanksgiving turkey in your freezer, you could easily swap that out for the chicken and use up some of that Thanksgiving turkey in a very delicious way. that diced up. Now I'm going to put on some gloves and I'm going to de-seed and mince one big <laughs> jalapeno pepper. All right, so now I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of butter, put it in my soup pot there, along with a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to heat those up. And I'm gonna add in my pepper, onion, and chicken. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of minced garlic, which would be about three cloves. So now I'm just going to cook these together until my chicken is opaque and the vegetables are soft. 
That'll just take a few minutes. Now I'm making this recipe a little bit different than I have it on my website. Um, on my website, I have you cook the chicken first, scoop it out, and then do your onion and pepper and, and all of that. Um, but I just went ahead and I threw everything in together. And honestly, it's because I just started making it without looking at my recipe first. Um, but this will work just fine. So while these are cooking, I went ahead and I opened up three 15 ounce cans of cannellini beans, which are um, a white kidney bean. If you can't find these, you could also use great northern beans. Um, those work just fine. Uh, I rinsed and drained the beans and I just have them sitting here ready. I've got a quart, four cups of chicken broth. And then I went ahead and I grabbed my spices. So we're going to let this continue to cook um, just for a couple more minutes and then we will add in uh, some more things. Alright, I had to turn on the overhead lights. It's getting a little bit dark even though it's only almost 3 o'clock, you know, shorter days. But my chicken here is opaque. It's actually starting to get some little golden spots on there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to add in two teaspoons of cumin. I'm adding in a teaspoon of oregano. And again, I'm not doing this exactly like the recipe on my website, but it is all the same ingredients. A quarter of a teaspoon or so of some cayenne pepper. open up a small can of diced green chilies here and I'm going to add these in. I'm going to add in my four cups of chicken broth or one quart and some salt and pepper. Next, I'm going to add in my drained beans. So now I'm going to turn the heat up and bring this up to a boil. Then I'll reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, my soup has been cooking and the chicken is cooked through. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to thicken this up. And this is where I am going to make one detour away from my ingredients on my website for this recipe. Ordinarily, I would have sprinkled in some all-purpose flour on top of the um, onion and uh, peppers that we're sauteing and then I would add the chicken back in and then all the rest. Um, so I've got a little bit of cold water here, about a third of a cup or so, and I'm going to use some cornstarch. I'm just going to grab a couple heaping forkfuls. This is basically how I thicken all sorts of things. I don't really measure this. I just kind of grab a bunch here. I'm just going to mix these until they're smooth. It'll just kind of look like milk in here. Right. 
Now we want to make sure that our soup is boiling. You want it good and hot. So I'm going to turn that up here just a little bit more. Give that a minute or so. And while my soup was cooking, I shredded up some Monterey Jack cheese, but you could use some pepper jack cheese, you could use some provolone, whatever you prefer. We'll pour in about half of that. Then we'll just watch for a moment to see how thick this gets. And if I want it a little bit thicker, then I'll add a little bit more of that. we go that is finished up so now I'm just going to grab a little bowl it's not quite dinner time um, but we can we can have a little bit of a bowl and show you how this looks So there you go, white chicken chili. If you would like to make this recipe, I will put a link to the printable version of it in the video description here on YouTube. And if you do make it and you enjoy it, I would appreciate you giving me a five star rating. It really helps me out and it helps others find my recipes. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance at A Good Life Farm and I'll talk to you all next time.